Let me give you a quick summary of our latest live stream where we take a look at Drupal CMS, which is a downloadable packaged version of Drupal, which comes with a bunch of contrib modules and sensible defaults. So you can install Drupal and use it straight away. So when you log in for the first time, you will see this new dashboard. This is just a basic dashboard that shows you blocks. And if you click on edit layout, you can go ahead and add blocks into specific regions. And then if you hover over create, you can see that we do have a bunch of extra entities such as basic page, blog post, event. I do believe I did install a recipe for that, location, document, and these are media types. If you click on content, you can see the standard content overview page. You can duplicate content and delete content from here. If you edit any piece of content, you can see that CK Editor does have a few cool things, such as it supports linkets out of the box, so you can search for your content directly from here and it has media management support as well out of the box. And if you click on this featured image, it opens up media library instead of just the standard image field, which is good to see. Then at the top here, they are using the coffee module, which allows you to jump over to specific backend pages, which is great. The trash module is also used. So when you delete a piece of content, it first adds it to the trash and then you can restore it or purge it and fully delete it. This is interesting because I did have a uh, content editor once ask if I could just restore a page they deleted from the trash bin. And I, and I had to explain to them, Drupal doesn't have that out of the box, but it's good to see that. Then if you click on extend, one of the cool new features is you have the browse project page. If you click on browse and here you can search for and install modules. Unfortunately, the installation didn't quite work for me, but you can see all of the modules that could potentially be installed, but you can see all of the available recipes and simply go ahead and, and install these. This actually worked. Then if we go to configuration, you will see a bunch of uh, modules which come with Drupal CMS, such as MailerLite for email handling, Capture, Honeypot, Coffee, Easy breadcrumb, trash module. And if we scroll down, it comes with path auto, which is great. URL redirects, simple XML sitemap, meta tag, and one of my new favorite modules, which is ECA. Now this module allows you to create workflows without writing any custom code. And you can see that it comes with three workflows. My favorite one is this duplicate content because the functionality to actually handle duplicating content is fully controlled by ECA. No custom module is required. And this is something that I just recently learned that you could modify operation links and alter your local task links using this module. That is something that I learned during the actual live stream, which is great. And then here you can see that it actually goes ahead and creates the duplicated entity. So if you want to learn more about Drupal CMS, check out our latest video over at WebWash. Chapters have been added to the video description so you can jump between sections. And this time I actually put in the effort to create a tutorial. Links below this video. Enjoy.